The sockeye salmon in the Columbia River are dying. As you can see, they're in lethally hot water. Uh, we're in a salmon crisis. These salmon are reportedly getting sick and dying because their river is too hot. The Pacific Northwest's Columbia River reached temperatures over 71 degrees Fahrenheit in July 2021, which is much higher than the Clean Water Act's legal limit of 68 degrees. We're seeing heat. Imagine the heat that we're feeling. They're, they're feeling it 10 times worse in that river. They're suffocating. They're weakened. And they just want to come up to their home, their beautiful home. This is causing lesions and fungus on the salmon who live there. Sockeye salmon are returning from the ocean. They've spent a couple years there building their strength so they can come back all the way to their natal streams. The salmon left the Columbia River to escape the heat and swam into one of its tributaries, the Little White Salmon River, which is where this video was recorded. These fish are expected to die in the tributary without spawning. There are tens of thousands of salmon still at risk in the Columbia and Snake Rivers, and it is too soon to tell how many fish have already died or what the impact will be on their endangered population. The reservoirs these dams create are just stagnant cesspools that are heating up and killing them. They can't even make it to their home to spawn, to reproduce. But we need cold, clean water, and we've got to take the Snake River dams down to make that happen. We need a free-flowing river again. That will restore our salmon back. Right now, there's a proposal in Congress to take down four of the dams which could help the salmon as they swim their way upstream. We need people to wake up to see what it is, how important they are to not only just indigenous people, but all people on this earth.